video with Belinda from Jambella. Today I'm going to show you how to apply your wraps. You might have bought your very first set and you want to make it perfect. Today I'm going to show you using our special Irish ones. This is called Bit of Luck and it's St. Patrick's Day so that's why we're going green. You might have won some accent nails in a competition or something or you might have got them at a show. Or you might be trying out a seven day challenge. You want to try these jamberry things, see what they're all about. So I'm here to show you how to put these on and get the maximum life out of them for you. Step one in getting your perfect jamberry application is your prep. The first thing you really have to do is prep your nails and get them ready for your wraps. So step one I would say is always Wash your nails with a really good grease remover. So like a gentle dish liquid is best. It gets all the oils off your nail bed, which is really important to make your wraps stay. The next thing you need to do is make sure that your cuticles are well pushed back from your nails. So if you've bought wraps from me, I would have provided you with an orange stick. So what we need to do is to use that to very gently, don't bleed, don't hurt, just push your cuticles all the way back as far as they will go from the actual nail. I'm just going to show you one or two to make this a quick video. Once we've done that, we need to get the shine off our nails. Get yourself a buffing block. Again, if you don't have one of those, join my VIP group. I'm on Facebook, Jam Bella VIPs. Ask to join. I'm always giving away freebies and prizes. And if you are serious about your jams, you can get yourself an application kit. This is what comes in your kit. Everything you need, including a cuticle pusher, so you don't have to use an orange stick for that. You've got your nail file here, your clippers, your little scissors. It comes with two prep wipes that you can use to get your nails ready. And it all comes in a great little bag that will also fit your wraps in there as well. But for now we'll work on what you've probably already got. So once you've used like a buffing block, you can get those at a supermarket or again from me. Just give it a light buff, get any shine off. And then it's really important that we get any excess bits of nail, bits of oil, anything like that off our nails. Again, if you've got some wraps from me, I would have provided you with a little alcohol swab. If you buy the kit, you get some prep wipes in it. So just get off any excess oils, any debris with your alcohol swab. Wait for that to dry and you're ready to go with your application of your wraps. The next and really important step in this process is sizing. Now these are heat and pressure activated vinyl. We don't want these to touch our skin because what we're trying to do with these wraps and the whole way they stay on as long as they do is they seal to your fingernail. If you get them touching your skin or your cuticles, that creates places that things can get under and lift those wraps off. Now you want to get about two weeks wear out of these. So we're going to do this so that you get a seal on your fingernail that nothing gets underneath. And that's how your wraps last. So first of all, I already know that this one fits my pinky finger. You need to look at your wraps and you need to make sure that the one that you choose for each finger leaves a little bit of gap. I'll just come in close here. A little bit of gap all the way around the edges here. And that gives you a really tight seal. So once you've chosen the right sized wraps for your fingers, the next thing we're going to do is cut them to get them ready. A little bit of a tip, grab yourself a little pair of scissors, slip it under the centre of the wrap and trim. That way you've now got two for each finger. And I like to use an orange stick for this. We don't want to touch that adhesive surface. Remember if we get oils on there, our adhesive isn't going to work as well. So what I do is I just lift it gently with an orange stick. And now this is the fun part. What we do, we get our nail. We line it up as best we can so that it's... I need to turn this so I can see it. Sorry guys, and I'll turn it back for you. 
we line it up so that it's straight and we gently place that on. I have not pushed down on this at this point. We want to heat this to activate that adhesive before we start pressing things down. Now, as you've seen here, I've got my little Jamberry mini heater. A lot of you won't have that. Sometimes I give these away as a random prize if you book a party. So that's one way of getting your hands on one of these babies. The other one is you can go to my website again, or most of you will have a hairdryer. So the, for the purpose of this exercise, I'm gonna use a hairdryer to show you how simple this is. So first we do is heat the top. So we've put a feather light touch so it's sitting on there, it's not gonna blow away, and now we heat. And what I wanna do here is adhere the center part of my nail. Now, as you know, our nails are not flat like our kitchen table. There are some curves and bends, and this method helps us to iron out any bubbles or wrinkles we might get. As you can see, there's a few little wrinkly bits here. The next two steps will iron that out. So, step two in this process. And on that side, we then work it down. These are vinyl, they are flexible they will change shape when they're heated. And now you can see that's really smooth. So the last step, step three, we heat the other side. Only need about three seconds. And gently smooth that down, firmly pressing with our finger. And now you can see that's a really beautifully smoothly applied wrap. So I grab my orange stick now and just really firmly press those edges down. We really want to get that seal top notch to make these last. Now don't file these or cut these off yet. Let your wrap cool down. All right down significantly here I can now go ahead and trim the excess off but leave a little bit now again if you've got wraps from me I would have given you some sort of little file but most people have one at home anyway the next step is how we file the nail so now that we're ready to actually file our wrap off a lot of people do a whole hand of wraps and then go back and start filing Get your nail file and you want to do this on a 90 degree angle. We don't file up and we do not file side to side. We file straight down on a 90 degree angle. And if we start at one side and work our way across, you will actually watch it start to just cut away on that fingernail edge right before your eyes. They say to do this very gently so that you don't get jaggy edges on the front of your wrap. I can be a little more aggressive because I'm going to show you a little tip that I personally like to do that stops my wraps lifting at the tips. So once I've got this all the way off, we can then remove the wrap just like that. And it's beautiful. But I'll show you my little final step that I like to do. I get a glass nail file or a very fine file. This doesn't come in our standard application kit. If you're really into your manicures, we have a beautiful deluxe toolkit. It comes like this in a leather case. And inside, you've got all these gorgeous tools, including a glass nail file. Or you can buy the glass nail files in a pack of two on the website again. For now, I'll grab this one and show you my next step that I like to do that prevents my tips lifting. Right, so now we're ready to fix our tips. What I do is I get my glass file and now on a 45 degree angle, I very, very carefully and gently start to file this way and what this does is it just very gently pairs back the nail a little the wrap a little sorry from your nail so that it doesn't come right to the front edge of your nail tip 
That way, when you are doing things, your wrap isn't there letting stuff get in between your wrap and your fingernail. And that's what I find causes lifting that some people get, depending on what sort of activities they do and what they're handling in their everyday lives. So once I've done this, you will actually notice a very fine edge around the wrap. No one notices this. And again, you may be worried about the gap between the wrap and the side of your finger. If you're looking at my finger here, you can't tell that's there. From the side you can, but no one ever notices. You really want that gap. That's what's going to keep your nails on, so don't be scared of it. And here's my last step in my perfect app tutorial. Grab your hairdryer just one last time. You've finished all your wraps. Let's pretend I've got all my wraps on. Give it a little heat up. And just get your orange stick or your cuticle pusher if you've got your application kit. And just one last time go around all the edges especially this tip because we've filed it we really want to make sure that's sealed and adhered perfectly i'm going to go and do the rest of my nails and when i'm done i'll show you how that looks and we're back so that's the finished product there as you can see i've mixed up my little nails there with all sorts of saint patrick's designs they're looking lovely that took me about 15, uh, 10 minutes, sorry, just for the wraps. 15 if you are going to do the extra step with your glass nail file, how I showed you with this. Don't be put off if it takes longer. I've been doing this every week for some time now. It does take longer to start. Keep going. These look awesome. It is worth it. And you can do it all in one night while watching your TV show. Now, a really final important thing to remember when you want your wraps to last it might seem like a great idea to put on a moisturizer or a cuticle oil right away after doing this. Don't. Let these things calm down. It is good to do these at night after your shower and then watch your favorite show, put your wraps on, go to sleep and do start doing your nourishing and stuff again the next day. What will happen if you go and put oils or go have a hot shower or do the dishes after doing these is they haven't quite set yet. And that will soften them, it will loosen them up a little bit, and they're not going to last as long. So let them settle down, treat them like little babies who need a rest, because they are little babies, they're beautiful, you look gorgeous, they look gorgeous. Have a wonderful time with your jams. Thanks very much for watching.